Thanks for watching. I'm Prerna Agarwal, technical product owner for The Guardian. Today, I'll be giving you a short demo on how to generate the Web3.Storage API key and proof. Let's look at uh, the demo. So what we have done is we have actually documented the step-by-step -step process of how to generate the Web3.Storage key and values. So the first step, what you need to follow is you need to first create an account on Web3.Storage. Once you enter an email address in, in the Web3.Storage console, you will be actually getting a verification link to your respective email. Once you authorize your email by clicking on the verification link, you will be asked to choose an appropriate billing plan. And also you need to enter your payment details just to, for authorization purpose. Once you create and authorize and enter your payment details, you will have your dead key specific to your email and you will also have the you can generate it. Once you do that, you need to actually install node version 18 or, or higher. Uh, you can check your current node version. If it is already installed, you can check by node hyphen hyphen version. And also you need to have an NPM version of seven or higher. And you can also check that version by entering NPM hyphen hyphen version in your command prompt and you will actually get the result. Once you verify that your node version is 18 or higher and NPM is 7 or higher, you need to install the web3-storage slash web3cli package with NPM by entering NPM install hyphen G web at web3.storage, web3-storage slash web3client CLI. Once your command prompt of web3 web is installed, now you can actually create your space now let's see how you, you can create your space. So once I come back to our Visual Studio code, I need to first move my command prompt to bash command by clicking on bash bash. Now, once I am in the bash command prompt, I will first like to create the web3 space by entering web3 space create. Make sure that you enter the space name over here. So I, I go to my Visual Studio, I paste it and I create a, a space called demo. Once I create a space called demo, I will get a, a recovery key just to authenticate. I can just enter to reveal it. Once I reveal it, I need to copy and copy this and save it on my desktop or locally just to make sure that I verify it. Now I again go back and click on enter. Now it ask, actually asked me to paste the recovery key just for the authentication purpose. I paste it and then it actually verifies me and it verifies that I'm the real user and the space demo is created. Now, once it is created, I will just use that space. So I will execute W3 space use that particular space. So I copy that, I paste it over here and then I just say demo. Now, as you can see, my the space demo key is C6, M, K, H, and so on. So this is my date key. Once that is generated, I have to actually execute the following command to retrieve your, my a private key and did. So I copy this and I run this command in the Visual Studio code. I paste it over here. I click on enter. Now, as you can see, I get the did key, which is which we, which was already generated, but I also got MGCZ, which is my IPFS storage key. Just remember that my IPFS storage key always starts with MG. I just copy this and I just paste it in my notepad just for the future purpose. Then I again go back and then I have to retrieve the IPFS storage proof, which will be generated by entering or executing this command. So I copy this W3 delegation created from UCAN. I go to the Visual Studio. I So before that, I will just paste that over here. And then I need to copy the did key from the one which was generated before, which is did key Z6, I will copy this. And I paste it in the notepad and I edit this. I will remove this. And now I copy paste, I copy all this and I run that in my command prompt. 
So now this is a proof which is generated. It will actually start with EAJ. So this is my proof which will be copy pasted in envisionenv hyphen hyphen guardian.system here. In the IPFS storage key, it will be MG starting and in the IPFS storage proof, it will be starting from EAJ. I need to copy all this till equal sign. I copy this and I will also paste it over here. Once this is done, you can copy and paste this in the Visual Studio in your respective guardian.system file, .env.guardian.system file, and then you can rebuild the Guardian by following the other Docker process or by building the Docker locally. To get more information, look at our documentation at docs.header.com slash guardian slash guardian. And when you get there in under the installation guide, you will have how to generate web3.storage API values. We have also listed out step-by-step -step login commands, what you can use and just to generate your IPFS uh, storage key and the values. If you have any questions, please let us know. We would be happy to help you guys out.